Greetings. The water body before you is known for its pristine, crystal clear waters. But that is not its most striking feature. If you look through that pristine water, you will see a rainbow array of colored rocks and pebbles just below the water surface. These rocks range in color from dark red to maroon and also from green to blue. These colored pebbles are seen in abundance on the shore of this water body, which is known as Lake MacDonald. Now, Lake MacDonald is found on the western side of the Glacier National Park in the U.S. state of Montana. It's on the border with Canada and it's home to more than 700 lakes, although only 131 of these lakes actually have names. More than 200 of these lakes are over five acres in size and a dozen of them exceeds thousands of acres. Lake MacDonald is the largest of these lakes of the Glacier National Park. It has a surface area of over 6,823 acres. It is also the longest at over 15 kilometers. It is also the deepest lake at 141 meters. But enough about the waters of the lake. Let's take a look at these beautiful rocks that are found in Lake McDonald. Isn't nature wonderful? Isn't geography wonderful? Now the colors of these rocks are determined by the presence or the absence of iron. The bright red rocks found along the Grinnell Glacier Trail were deposited in a shallow ocean environment where the iron found in the rocks were oxidized by the tidal exposure to the air. These rocks have a coloration with an old ripple mark or ancient mud crack lines. Other rocks are rich green color. They were formed in deeper water than the red rocks. And although these rocks contain the same quantities of iron-bearing materials, they did not have the same exposure to oxygen and the amount of oxidization was also limited. Rocks of a purplish color may be due to the presence of potassium permanganate. These rocks were formed all around the Glacier National Park at different eras. When the glaciers came, it broke down the rocks into tiny fragments and the rivers washed them away. Many of these got deposited onto lakes and tarns. Water erosion then rendered these rocks of an angular nature into smooth pebbles. Ah. Now you can see why I am so addicted to geography.